Councilman, thank you for your leadership. Uh, on behalf of the NGLCC, uh, represented here by our CEO, Chance Mitchell, and these amazing LGBT business owners that surround us, thanks for helping kick off what is inevitably going to be history in the making today uh, for our community and for cities around the country who are going to follow your example. Uh, we've got a long way to go for LGBT equality in America, uh, but the city of New York has always had one of the largest and strongest networks of LGBT businesses anywhere in America, and that includes our certified LGBT VEs. There's already over a hundred right now working with every corporation in this city, and it's time for them to have, as you said, that seat at the table to contribute directly to the city that they love so much. And why shouldn't they? When LGBT business owners in America add over $1.7 trillion to the economy every year, and create tens of thousands of jobs. As a councilman said, the rationale for this bill is so simple. Our local economies cannot achieve their full potential without the participation of every single citizen of our great city. Greater diversity among suppliers encourages greater competition. Greater competition encourages greater innovations that drive down bid prices. And when those bid prices come down, that results in taxpayer savings that get re that reinvested in our cities, schools, roads, police departments, and everything else that ensures that our city remains strong and thriving. And I want to stress that this bill is going to support all communities because uh, it's an often a misconception that when you add LGBT-owned businesses to a city's MWBE program, that other communities lose somehow. That simply isn't the case. No one loses when everyone has a fair shot to win. When it comes to inclusion, as our co-founder Justin Nelson often says, there is no us against them. There is no the pie isn't big enough. Because New York City's contracting pie is as big as this city and its other diverse contractors demand it be baked. So we can help uh, attract and retain the greatest suppliers and business owners and job creators to this city by allowing these amazing LGBT business owners and those like them to have a seat at the table and compete for contracts. Right now, more than 250 corporations across America recognize LGBT business certification, as do a record number, grow uh, ever-growing number of cities and states. Just since 2018, NGLCC helped create uh, a method for our certification to be utilized in Baltimore, Jersey City, and Hoboken, as well as uh, throughout major cities already like Nashville, Seattle, Newark, Columbus, and Philadelphia. The states of California, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania already recognize our certification. And thanks to bills currently in motion in Albany and Trenton, the states of New York and New Jersey are next in line as well. So as uh, the councilman mentioned, the city already has a mechanism in place to help other diverse communities utilize their certifications to win. There is, in fact, a fast track in place right now for people who have been certified by groups like WeBank or NMSDC, our peer organizations in the work that we do in supplier diversity. And if you include them, why not include us? Because LGBT people are a part of every other diverse community in this city, and they deserve that fair shot. It's the tax revenue of LGBT business owners like you see behind me who help pay for the 15 billion plus in contracts that the city awards and all they're asking for is a fair shot that they deserve. So let me simply close by saying again, thank you, Councilman. Thank you for you, uh, for your leadership on this, uh, for garnering the support of your colleagues in the caucus for convening us here today in what is nothing short of history in the making. This is all about collaboration, inclusivity, and a recognition that when we all do better, we all do better. And we're going to start doing better in New York today. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Thank you.